It's Bourbonite, it's an uncorking. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what's in this lovely, lovely silver box? This is Baker's 13 year. Baker's 13 year. Yep, it's a limited release. Which we've been seeing a lot of the past yeah. couple of years, but... Just came out in October of 2019. Yeah. And it's still 107 proof. It is. But that age went up. It went <laughs> and up. it's a single barrel. Yes. Which they're also doing to the seven year as mm -hmm. well. Right. And that one's at a lower price point. Um, and I'm lower, not sure... Lower, but still higher but than still it But still higher than it wasn't. I know, right? I was always saying, like, oh. Baker's is the unsung hero of the, you know small batch bourbon collection at Jim Beam, like no one gives bakers enough attention. Well, I should have kept my mouth shut. Because <laughs> they heard you and they, they heard were like, me and they were hey. like, someone should give bakers some attention. <laughs> no, it's not because of me. And apparently um, that's what they're going to be doing. This is uh, the first it, of... Yeah, it sounds like to me, this is going to be like a yearly release mm -hmm. of doing something different. An article by uh, Whiskey Advocate was saying that, you know, they might do some finished releases um, coming up. So I kind of feel like they're going to do what they've done with um, Basil Hayden's. Yeah, they have like do those different started releases. exploring all those different releases. But I do love Baker so much and I love Jim Beam so much. Just exactly. the taste. I don't, there can't think of much I don't like. All right. I mean, look at this little neck charm. Right. It almost looks like it's a prison tag. I think it's made to feel like concrete. It's neat. I kind of want to take it off and put it on a necklace no, and wear it. Should. I might right. do that. Pause for cork pop. Oh, oh, thank not you, bad. Chad. A little, little, little spittle there. Who's today's cork pop sponsor, Chad? Today's cork pop, 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 pop. Can you say cork pop sponsor? Today's cork pop sponsor is actually us. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the bourbon, America's Native Spirit t-shirt, glassware. Water glasses. Water glasses. Challenge coins. Challenge coins, including the new Phew. Texas challenge coin. And we, we're down to like a fourth left of our original or batch less. one. Yeah, or less of the Kentucky coin. Uh, but that is whiskeyambitions.com. So yeah, unfortunately, the seven year, which was a small batch, is now also a single barrel. So that means the price went up from $45, $50 to $70 MSRP. This mm -hmm. is $100 MSRP, I think. Yeah. We got it for $99. But Baker Beam himself, right? Helped yeah, with Baker this. Beam. And I want to read this uh, and, and credit uh, Whiskey Advocate with this, uh, and this is quoting from Whiskey Advocate. The 73-year-old Baker Beam himself, former distiller at Jim Beam's Claremont Distillery and cousin of Booker No, who created the Baker's brand, selected and approved several single barrels in this initial rollout. Jim Beam will continue to expand on Baker's line in coming years, potentially through wood finishes. So, so yeah. Yeah, um, there's like a little thing from Baker Beam himself on the back of the box and the back of the bottle that just talks about how he spent time on the grounds, he even lived on the grounds, he's, um, you know, part of this small batch bourbon legacy for six generations, and he's proud to have his name on a piece of that legacy, so, oh, get to the nose. Get to the okay. nose. Okay. <laughs> Screw your story. Get to the nose. Oh, that is a nice nose. Man, it, it doesn't scream beam, but it screams great It screams nose. delicious <laughs> it screams nose. great yeah. nose, jeez. It's more... Great um, nose. <laughs> great Scott. <laughs> it's more kind of uh, caramely. Yeah, but it and, also has like a little bit of pepper. Yeah, sh I was gonna say like sugary syrupy type of than like your normal nuttiness yeah. of, a, of a beam nose. Ooh. Oh, smells fantastic. Ooh, it just, it, I literally just got <laughs> chills. Oh my gosh. Literally, I just got chills. It's, un look at my goosebumps. It's unusual. It's unusual. That I get that oh, off of a nose, so. unusual. Okay, well let's, uh, I can't tell where it's, Ooh. there we go. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, dang. <laughs> Whoa. I haven't had anything over 100 proof today, so it's like, <clears throat> it drinks a little, the first sip is a little, drinks a little hotter than 107. Oak bomb. Oak and and dried nuttiness. Yes. The I nuttiness just, is there. It is present. It's nutty, but it's dry. It's dry. It is dry. It is very oaky. Wow. And then I was thinking, like, the thought run through my head, like, who came up with these bombs? Like caramel bomb, cherry bomb, oak bomb, like butterscotch ch bomb. Ch 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 cherry bomb. Yeah, right. Just like it's so oaky. Wait, don't eat not yet. <sighs> Feel this finish. I do. It it's is nice. Still going. It's still here too. The it's, first sip 
is now starting to go down into that Kentucky Ugg. It's true. He's right. I should wait. Yeah. I just get excited. What a finish. It's long. And it's dark and and dry. Now, normally, you know me. You don't like the dry. Dry bourbons are a killer, but I mean, it's not like bunching up my taste buds dry. It's just like across the roof of my mouth, the sides of my mm. cheeks. Let's see what happens on no. the second. Oh, now I have yeah. permission. Yeah. Okay, great. Wow. It's deep. <clears throat> I get the dryness more on the finish. Yeah. The front part is actually like really oily. It's very. And then it like just yes. sort of viscous yeah very viscous and it like mutates that's not the right word that's not like something bad happened i guess it evolves, it evolves into this thing where the tip of my tongue is numb now actually but like you said i can feel it it's like coating my cheeks but it's also a little bit dry on the finish wow it does taste this is higher than 107 proof i feel it does taste higher a little punch drunk right do now. do you feel like a little head change yes. yeah i'm like I'm a little Not, Jack Sparrow but just right like now. Just like a little. <laughs> <laughs> but why That's is a good level. But how, why is the bourbon gone? How drunk are you? I'm Jack Sparrow on a regular day. <laughs> yeah, you like every every day Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I'm not quite, you know, Brendan Fraser. <laughs> there need to be levels. There need to be levels. I love Where it. are you on a scale of Jack Sparrow to, <laughs> to Brendan, Brendan Fraser? Fraser. <laughs> Or Winona Ryder at the, um, was it the Oscars or the Emmys or oh, whatever? Oh, yeah, she's, she's just like... like. So there needs to be a scale is what we've determined and that's gonna be the funny new thing. <laughs> Do I have permission to say it's an exceptional mouthfeel? You may. Roll it. Exceptional mouthfeel. It's chewy. It's a lot of oak. If you are not okay with that, Mm, this might not be the thing for you. I really enjoy this. And actually, I don't think it could have come out at a better time of year. Sipping Sippin'. bourbon coat, mm. you know? So, such a coat. Such a coat. Because uh, normally I would say Baker's could be year round because of that 107 proof, right? But like this is... Not, not this 13 this year. This guy hits pretty hard. I oh, think if it was... Sorry, my eyes are itchy. Any older, it would be too old for what's happening right now. It, You know, it's old but you're not getting overwhelming tobacco and leather, but mm. you are getting Barrel City. Yeah, I think there's a little tobacco in there. But it's not, like you said, it's not that overwhelming. I'm really enjoying it. Me too. I mean, I just keep sipping it, which I should probably stop because because it's over 100 proof, we probably you... want to put a drop of water in it. Yeah, we will. It is sweet. It has that syrupy quality that's like, it's almost dessertish, like a nutty dessert. Kind of, And then yeah. you're like, but wait, but wait. It's hitting hard. This is what I would call like more of a rugged bourbon. Mm -hmm. I'm like just so oaky. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. I do. I feel it already, which is crazy because I like to think it's... that we have a pretty high tolerance. And I mean, some things affect you that way and some things don't. Like I could drink a couple. I don't feel like bookers would do this to Agreed. us. Agreed. <laughs> and that's so weird because is, the proof. It is weird. I don't know. I don't this understand it. This is a different offering from Jim Beam. This isn't the normal. You can tell this is special. This is a single barrel. This is a limited release. Mm -hmm. It is out of the ordinary Jim Beam with still being Jim Beam. Right, like I think the nice thing about it is like if it's gonna be a limited release, you kind of do want it to be something different than your everyday because then what the argument becomes, why shouldn't I just buy Booker's for $70? Why spend $100 on this? Right. And yeah, Ooh. I think the fact that it is bringing something <laughs> new to the table that's not like everyday Jim Beam is actually kind of cool. Now, I think what's going to be interesting, Chad, mm -hmm. is the argument between I have $70. Should I spend it on a Booker's seven year 107 or Baker's seven year 107 proof? Or should I spend it on a Booker's for that I can get 125 plus proof? Or do I mean, you think that they'll raise the price of Booker's again? No. Well, they got too much backlash. And I think we have to try the Baker's single barrel against seven year to know we can't answer that yet because oh, we haven't yeah. had it. We've True. only had the small batch. Fair enough. Uh, but just going off, if it's anything like this, I think it's going to be more what are you in the mood for? Yes. And maybe the single barrels will be less consistent than the small batching of Booker's. Mm -hmm. So some people might feel safer going with a, a Booker's. Anyway, sure. we just added about five drops of water into these. We're going to let it sit. But while we wait, Sarah wants to tell you about Patreon.com. That's right. It's Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night. And you can become a patron for as little as $1. Um, we do fun things. We do poll uh, we'll do first crack at events, first crack at bottles, new coins and merch. Like we'll yeah, be announced there first. Coin numbers. We do Patreon only podcasts um, every now and then. We do live chats once a month. 
uh, so you can get your own. It's kind of a way to get your questions bumped up to the top. It's fun. Yeah. You should come join us. Uh, Patreon.com. Just check it out. Just check it out. Dip toe in. Cool. So we're going to let this sit for about nine more minutes. We'll be back right after this. All right. So we let this sit. Let it aerate. Mingle. Mingle. Let's see what some water's done. Ooh. You know what? This is weird. I think this nose is more like a Buffalo Trace than it is a Jim Beam. That's so weird that you say that, Chad, because I kind of agree with the water, like with the water added, and that was just a couple of drops. I mean, maybe even without the water. I, I didn't even think about it back then. I think maybe more so with the water, but wow. gun to my head, oh, okay. I would say Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Ooh, no, I completely agree with you. Like if we were doing this blind and someone said guess a distillery, I wouldn't guess Jim Beam, I would guess Buffalo Trace. What oh. a good call. Wow, that's Ooh. really changed it pop the heat a little bit more in the middle and I think yes in the middle it kind of diminishes from that exceptional viscosity at yes, the front yes agree it's still dry on the finish so but it didn't take that away I would say less though less dry less oak. and I also think it's less oak yes, overall like sure. it kind of just tamed makes that it down a, a little, little bit. bit more approachable if like if say the heavy oak isn't your thing right. you would just want to add a couple drops of water mm -hmm. and then that would make it it's more balanced which is mostly good like in general but i kind of like that it made it it's an experience yeah you definitely need to try this neat first and then it starts uh, and then start it experimenting works. with water <sighs> um <laughs> i don't know i like it I, I like it with water and without i would always sip it neat first and, and then decide if i want to okay uh brass tax time $99, $100. We got this at Kroger Wine and Spirits for $99. A lot more expensive. Uh, if you're going off the small batch version, sure, uh, seven that year, $45, $50. This is double. I'm gonna miss that. But it didn't quite double the age. It went from seven to 13, so mm -hmm. almost doubling. But it also went from a small, or a, yeah, a small batch to a single barrel and hand-picked barrels from Baker Beam. And I bet you some people didn't even know they're is a Baker Beam out there. Right. But there totally is. We like, have a bottle of Baker signed by Baker Beam. Luckily we do. Um, so this, and it's a, it's a count this as an LE, you know, a 2019 LE. So then there's also a price increase. So I feel like the price <clears throat> is justified for those reasons, yeah. plus the taste. Yeah. So without further ado, I have to give it a thumbs up. There are a lot of factors that are going into my consideration. Tell me. Um, okay, so normally I'm like thinking about these limited editions, like what's the liquid inside worth and what's the packaging worth? Cause you've got a box, you've got this fancy bottle shape, you've got this fancy cork, this little neck tag. All that being said, you know that you're paying a portion for that and you're paying yeah. a portion for the whiskey or the bourbon inside. Yeah. This is one of those cases where I feel like, like this sounds terrible, please don't judge me, but you're almost getting a little bit of a deal because normally they would be charging $50 for the uh, bottling and the, the marketing materials and the box and everything, <clears throat> and then another $70 for what's inside. This is a case where I feel like what's inside is absolutely worth $100. <laughs> And then you're also getting a cool bottle and box and things like well, that. Well, congratulations, Sarah, because now, because of what you just said, they're gonna charge 150. Thanks. I would, I'm just saying if it came we've out- we've already established that they listen to you. Right. With Old Fitzgerald, we were like, this is a great bourbon, but it's probably a this price bourbon in a $50 bottle. And that's why it's costing so much. And so it's nice to see something where I feel like the liquid that's inside is holding up to yeah. what I feel like something at that price range should taste like. I mean, you look and at- And you're getting nice stuff. You look so. at another once a year boxed limited edition bourbon in the Master's Keep from their, their friends and our friends at Wild Turkey. That's 120, 130. The rye was even 150. 149.99, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just keep that in your mind too. Perspective. $99? Now, you're going to say, is it worth it? Should I buy it or should I just stick with the regular, you know, small batch? This is seven not year? the regular. It's not the regular. The regular to me always felt like a, I don't want to say dumbed down, uh, softened up Booker's. Agreed. This um, is not in the realm of bookers. And I would say at $45, what it was, that makes sense. Yes, little brother of bookers. Of bookers. It would be hard for me to argue, like, because that is gonna now become $70, I haven't tasted it, so I can't say. Now, whether I would pay $70 for that, which is hiked up from 45, or whether I would rather just go ahead and pay $100 for this, I can't say, I haven't had it. Whether I would rather pay $100 for this or $70 for a bottle of bookers, 
I can't say because I haven't tried them side by side. I love Booker's. It's just different, like you said. Yeah. But based on what I know, how I felt about this, and the value in perspective compared to other things that get the same level of like design and attention, mm -hmm. I gotta give it a thumbs up. There it's bringing a lot of things to the table. That was. I like it. It's was making me feel a, really good. That was a lot of to get, but I'm totally with you. I'm I hear sorry. You. I no, just have a lot of it's reasoning. All good. I'll, I'll I'll sum up mine with this. This is no longer the little brother of Booker's. Mm. It is now. It's not in the shadow. It's up here and it's its own, it's its own man. It's really good, we recommend. We recommend, we think it's worth the money. It's worth it. Cool, all right. Well, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking right up here. We have suggestions of other videos that you can click on down here. We'll see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Shad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Drink more bakers. Oh.